Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to use Network Days function in Excel. Network Days is a good function to use when you have a start date and an end date and you want to identify the number of working days between these two dates. So you may have a project which has a specific start date and end date and you may need to uh, do the staffing and you need the number of working days then this is a good function to use. Let me show you how this works. I type network, I hit tab to autocomplete the function and you can see it takes three arguments. The start date, the end date and in square brackets we have holidays which is an optional argument. So in start date I give it 1st March 2014 which is in cell A3 and as end date I give it as 9th June 2014 which is in cell B3 and I close the bracket and I hit control enter. This gives me 71 as there are 71 working days between these two dates. Network days function is already programmed to exclude weekends which is Saturdays and Sundays. So these 71 days include days from Monday to Friday between these two dates. Now if you have a list of holidays that is occurring between these two dates then you can also use the third argument in the function. I hit tab and you can see there are three arguments start date end date holidays so I take uh, A3 as the start date B3 as the end date and here I have a list of holidays so I select the entire range as my third argument and I hit control enter and this gives me 68 the reason is that these three holidays are also now excluded from the result but what if a holiday uh, is also on a weekend so this formula is pre-programmed to exclude that. So in this case, say 3rd March 2014 uh, is a Saturday. Then there would not be a double counting. This would be excluded and the result would be 69 because weekends are anyways excluded from the formula. So if you have a start date and end date and a list of holidays and you need to identify the number of working days between these two dates, then network days function is the way to go. So this is how this function works in Excel. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.